Today, man, we're going to be diving into it, man. Today, we're going to be covering the next WWE Mattel action figure crowdfunding project that could be coming from WWE and Mattel. We're going to go through all the lore. We're going to break down all of the knowledge there, and I'm going to give you some of my ideas, and you can let me know some of your ideas and why certain things will not work and why certain things will work and all those different jazz. And honestly, I'm kind of stumped on it. I'm kind of stumped on it. I want to get into it today. Just some, you know, sometimes I'm just laying in bed, and I'm like, damn, I need to get some thoughts out there, and that's kind of what today is man so buckle the hell up let's get into it i'd like to know your thoughts down below man but let's get into it let's start things off let's go back let's go back to the first crowdfunding project that mattel put together that was the wwe ultimate edition new gen arena we got the ring we had the diesel ultimate we had the doink the clown ultimate we had the macho man early bird exclusive we had all of the different jazz going on right there came with the ring came with the entrance stage very cool set all those different things but this was not up my alley this was not something for me personally but i wanted to back it i wanted wanted to support the community. I wanted to, you know, I thought the stage was cool. I thought everything in it was cool. It's not that I didn't want it. It's just not up my alley. I, I could have I could have went through life without this project is kind of what I'm saying. You know, I didn't look at this and go, oh my God, in heaven, I will sell whatever whatever I got to do. I will move mountains to get this set. It was just one of those things. It's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll, I'll add that to the collection. I'd like to see what this is about. So that's kind of what I felt about the new gen arena. Then they come out and the next crowdfunding project we had the WCW Nitro Stage, real scale authentic deal going on right here, man. And this right here, while again, not just, you know, perfection for me personally, not the ultimate grand finale, gotta move mountains to get this thing. This, I was I was more excited for, right? My, my interest level, my excitement level bumped up just a little bit more, and I was super excited for it. I was, even if it wasn't perfection and everything, I thought this was awesome. I, I thought it was incredible. I got to see this in person multiple times. I got to see it in person at the WrestleMania 39 Superstore. I got to see this at the Mattel Design Center. I got to see this thing on display multiple times, and it was absolutely incredible in person, and I still believe if everybody that was interested in it, or even thought about backing it, got to see it in person. I think if you saw it in person, I think it would have made it. I truly think it was just such a, it was such a piece. It, it was unbelievable, but I know it was too big. I know that people say it was too big. It was too expensive. The international shipping, the figure selection, all those things were trash. I get it completely. You break it all down. I could agree with a lot of those points, but I still think that we should have made it. I was really upset. I still think about the stage because if you saw it in person, man, the customization options, the figure photography, the display options. There was so much here that is unbelievable. The lights, the sounds, the banners. You could have fully customized this thing into your own stage, and it was just so damn cool and epic. I still can't. I think about this stage at least once a week. I swear to Jesus. This thing ultimately failed like for reasons that we've talked about, right? It was the price. It was the international collector. It was the figure selection. The figure selection was not good. Not good figure selection, as we all know. And, of course, we failed. We failed, man. We failed miserably, unfortunately did not make it. I think we ended up with, what, like 80% of backers or something. We we almost made it, but it, we didn't quite make it. I think we ended up, what do we need, 4,000? I think we ended up with like 3,200. I can't remember now. I, it's, a, it's a long past memory, man. I see, I see it everywhere I go, but it's still long, long time gone. But we failed the Nitro stage, and obviously this is going to make us take a step back. Everything now, you know, that their plan, their plan for this was to give us the Nitro stage, give us the Nitro ring with Eric Bischoff, and we have this Monday Night Wars line that we were supposed to incorporate with the stage now, all these Monday Night Wars figures that we get. And then their next plan, the next crowdfunder, they said, you fund this Nitro stage, we're going to give you the Raw is War stage. We're going to give you the Raw stage. And, you know, we saw a display of that, and it looked incredible. I got to see that thing in person at the Mattel Design Center. It was gigantic. It looked immaculate. Another gigantic just ridiculous piece, and I know that, you know, when you really think about it, it's kind of absurd, like, okay, say we back that Nitro stage, and then we back that Raw as War stage, we got them back-to-back -back years, you'd have one on one side of the room, one on the other, I mean, it would have been a ridiculous display, it would have been badass, don't get me wrong, but it would have been insane, but, you know, we're all insane here, I think, but, you know, that was the plan, you know, I, I sit here and I think about the next crowdfunding project, if you want some information on what the next one will be, or what, you know, just a little bit of insight that we have, I did ask Steve Ozer at Mattel during our interview at San Diego Comic on 2024. I asked him about the about the crowdfunder. He said that their ideas, they have two or three ideas and they do, they're kind of heavily leaning on one or they're more than likely leaning on one for the next project. And you guys know, if you did not know, they are going to be giving us one every other year. La this year, we have not gotten shish. And then last year, it was the Nitro stage. So next year, I would imagine it probably Comic-Con, not Comic-Con, not Comic-Con. I would imagine at WrestleMania, they're probably going to announce 
the next crowdfunder, which is going to be in what, March, April? I think it's early April. They will announce the next crowdfunding project. Will they have it on display? Will they have different figures and announcements? I imagine they will. And then maybe by Comic-Con, that thing will go up with all the different bells and whistles. I know we're like a year away or like half a year away now or whatever the case is, but that'll be here before you know it, right? You'll blink and we'll be there. But I, I'm, I'm very interested in this thing because it's, you know, I think about how we failed. I think about what the next one was going to be. Are they going to, there's multiple options here. It's like, are they going to revisit the Nitro stage? Are they going to downscale it and pair it with different figures? Is that what they're going to do? I don't think that would be a very big splash. Maybe if they could fix the international shipping and all these different issues they ran into, maybe that could be an option. But I'm also thinking, will they pivot away from that completely? Are they going to keep on the same trajectory? We still have our Monday Night Wars line. We still have, you know, the, the Raw is War stage that they made. Those prototype things, they still exist. Are they going to try and downgrade the Raw is War stage and redo that and then give us new figures there? My only issue with all of these things, which we'll get into, is, you know, coming up on a crowdfunding project such as Mattel, I think the community kind of told you, you know, we don't want anything too big, or at least that's what a majority of people were saying. At least that's why the other ones didn't fund or, you know, the price point or whatever. And those things kind of go hand in hand. Price and size kind of go hand in hand because the one, the, the more one upscales, the, the more the other upscales for the most part. But, you know, you, you can't go too big and you can't go too small. And by too small, I'm thinking, you know, they, they can't really do any vehicles. How the hell are they going to do a vehicle? You know, they do the Zamboni. They do, you know, what would they do? The damn DX Jeep? I mean, what do you get? That would be a terrible crowd crowdfunder because we know, as we all know, or if you didn't know, we have the Wreck and Slam line, which has given us many great vehicles. We've gotten two car convertibles. We've had multiple motorcycles. We've had the forklift. We had the damn truck, the, the big lugging truck or whatever the hell that was. You had the Slambulance, which was a great one. You have the Lowrider that we just got, the Lucha Lowrider with Rey Mysterio. So I don't think that that would be a viable option. I don't think any vehicle would make any sense. It would just not be good enough. Like even a limo, I think, would not be good. Like, I, I still wouldn't see it. Even if it came with Ultimate Ric Flair and Ultimate this, like, many suited people, I just think that the, that would not move the needle enough to be a crowdfunding project. You know what I mean? I, I really don't know how they could do it. May, like, even, like, I just thought of this randomly in my skull right now as I'm talking. I Like, an Ultimate Edition limousine with, what, like, a suited Ric Flair, and they did, like, all of Evolution with brand new suited molds on all the figures, all Ultimate Edition, all with, you know, newly sculpted titles, the World Heavyweight title, the Intercontinental title, the World Tag titles. Still, even that would be like, like, I would love that as a set, right? I just don't see that as a crowd funder, and I, I don't know. I don't know where to go there, so... I think vehicles is completely off the thing, and also, even if they did do like a DX Jeep or some crazy shish like that, the we've already gotten all those figures in Elite form. You're going to upgrade them all to Ultimate? Just wouldn't move the needle, man. It would not be a needle mover in terms of a crowdfunding project. So, I don't know there. The other ideas that I would have is possibly an authentic scale Hell in a Cell, which I think would sell pretty good. I think people would love to see a Hell in a Cell. I think people would want to have that, but then you get into, is that more of a playability? type thing where, you know, you want kids to buy in on it, or is this more of a collector thing for figure photographers and stuff like that? Would any, like, I don't think I would put a hell in, I would not put a hell in a cell out on display in my figure room or whatever. Would people do that? Would they hang it from the ceiling? Like, it would it depend on what the figures are. These are questions that I think they need to they need to ask, and I think it's something, if they're going to be doing these things, you know, a crowdfunding project, you know, they really do have to have their hand on the pulse of the community to try to, to scale that and see what it's all about. So, I, I don't really know what their approach would be on something like that, but I would love to see an authentic Hell in a Cell. I would love to see an authentic Elimination Chamber to go with these rings, but again, I don't know what the, what the consensus would be. A lot of people say that, a lot of people say they want it, but would they would they purchase it? Would they put their hard-earned money towards that? And as far as, you know, different tiers and stuff for an authentic Hell in a Cell, announce tables would be cool. Come with a couple of announce tables, like Ultimate Edition versions, like newly sculpted, different mod Like, you know what I'm saying? Really go all in it and get the details of the announce tables as a cool little tier option. You could do, like, this is another thing. It's like, okay, you do, you do, say they did an authentic Hell in a Cell, and then they throw in what? You throw in a damn Ultimate Edition Undertaker. We've gotten a couple of those. You throw in an Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. We've seen three or four of him now. Uh, it's going to be four if you include the Target Legends DX version. You have, you know, the Ultimate Edition Kane. We've already seen that. So it's just, I really don't know what you could do in terms of a Hell in a Cell. When you, I don't know what you could do when you base it off figures like that, especially when you're dealing with a Hell in a Cell. Again, you could, yeah, oh, Ultimate Edition Mankind. Oh, it's already seen that. And if you, if you barely tweak it, 
I just don't think it would move the needle enough to really push it over the edge right there. So that's where I kind of struggled there. I thought potentially maybe you could do like an Ultimate Edition Jerry Lawler or something like that. Maybe people would be interested in if it comes with an announce table or something. Maybe you could do Ultimate Shawn Michaels in the short shorts look, like a really unique look for Shawn or something like that. I thought even, I don't care, I don't know what the damn project would be, but even an Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin with the revamp formula, completely buffed up. You know, bigger arms, shoulders, thighs, legs, all the bells and whistles, uh, Steve Austin. I think that would be a pretty good figure to plug in there as a nice bonus addition to your... I don't... I, there's just so many things there. I, I really... I struggle with this question. I've sat down to try to think of ideas for a crowdfunder, and the only things that make sense are either stages or some sort of structure like a Hell in a Cell or an Elimination Chamber. Now, obviously, with the whole McMahon situation, Shane McMahon, Vince McMahon, either of them would have been a, an amazing Ultimate Edition, but obviously those those aren't going to happen. Neither of those are going to be made into Ultimate Edition figures. I just think they would be perfect for the Ultimate Edition line. That is something that I think people would love to have on their displays, especially if they were from the Attitude Era. You know, you pair everything up, but... With that Ultimate Edition Austin, you know, you could throw in the camo shirt revamp formula, give him the bang gun from the Vince McMahon storyline or the boss storyline there would be really cool. There's just there's a, a lot of things that they could do. I just don't know where the hell their head's at. I don't know if they're thinking WCW. I don't know if they're thinking WWF or WWE. And that is kind of why I wanted to talk about this, put this up in a video, and just kind of see what you guys think, what could be the next project. What do you think would be a, a win? What do you think would be a loss? I just think that there's a lot on the table. And the fact that they say... You know, they they already know where they're going or they have a pretty good idea of where they're going. It's kind of crazy. I, I just don't know what they would what they would put out now. When they, you know, when we had the new gen arena, I was thinking, okay, next they need to do, in my head, I was like, oh, dude, they need to do the damn fist stage. Like, the fist stage would be absolutely incredible. But they haven't really been giving us a ton of ruthless aggression stage-like figures. We do have quite a bit. You know, we have some. We have, I'm not saying we don't have any, but that would probably be my, my dream projects. If I could name off three, it would be fist stage, not necessarily in any order, but fist stage, a Elimination Chamber, Hell in a Cell. Either Any of those three would be perfect for me. I would love to see the Raw's War stage as well. Or hell, even a redo at the Nitro stage. Even if it's not quite as big, it would still be cool to see that come to fruition. I just, I don't know. Like, without a Sting figure, I, I don't really care that much about the project. Especially... I don't know, the, the figures were not very good last time. And the Monday Night Wars line, while I do like it and everything, I feel like some, a lot of the figures have been lackluster so far, even though I do enjoy some of them. Obviously, you're not going to like every release. But I don't know, there's just so many different things there that you could kind of discuss and take place. And then when I get into who I think could come with that that stage, you know, I'm thinking, oh, they could do, you know, a Lucha Lowrider could be part of the, the tiers now. Would that would that include, could they do a Lucha Lowrider as one of the tiers, a $30 car, and maybe throw in a new Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero? Guerrero, and it, maybe it's a repainted version of the Lucha Low Rider with an Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero figure that's repainted with the nice skin tone. I mean, that kind of sounds cool. I think they could make that work. Maybe if that was a tier, you get this like the stage and the ramp would be the the thing, and then maybe one of the tiers is you know classic you know chrome looking SmackDown apron and ring pads or whatever the hell, and then you have you know announce tables as one of them, and then another tier could be the you know the Ultimate Eddie with the Ultimate Lucha Low Rider, and then you could do Kurt Angle or somebody like that as another ultimate like a bald ultimate edition card angle which we haven't seen before i don't know maybe that could be a thing maybe i just fantasy booked the whole thing together here i'm not entirely sure but i don't know my head's kind of crazy I, I don't know what the hell i'm thinking i just think that if you were to do a fifth stage I feel like the the scale would have to be they'd have to nail the scale and I feel like people do not want the massive the massive stage but you also don't want it to be too small because if it's too small it's just going to look ridiculous you know what I mean and I don't know I think that could throw off the whole entire effect of it but this is just one of those discussion style videos that I like to get on here and do kind of like a mini podcast I don't know man just getting on here shooting the shish kind of getting all my thoughts out because you this this channel is where I go with all these thoughts and I want to put them out in a video because I like to just think off the top of my head of where I'm thinking because I have nobody in person that I can really talk about these things with so I'm like you know what let's uh let's put it up here and see what the people think so let's see where your guys heads are at on the next WWE Mattel action figure crowdfunder and what your thoughts are man but that is going to wrap up the video for today man huge shout out to our Patreon members man appreciate you guys thank you guys so very much for your continued support man you guys are absolutely unbelievable and I appreciate every single one of you guys. But that is pretty much going to wrap the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts again down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. But I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. And I'll catch you guys later.